so today we're uh, continuing talking about uh, place value and uh, if you remember uh, yesterday we discussed um, uh, different types of place value and how those move around when we um, uh, multiply uh, by 10 and we were trying to look for a pattern so we're going to go a little deeper into that pattern today so um, I just wanted to bring this up uh, as we had it uh, yesterday so uh, just a brief kind of overview of um, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands, and then we go to the right of the decimal and we see tens, hundreds, thousands, right? So we were looking at that um, pattern. And so today, um, I'm going to take the same idea, except I'm going to replace it and I'm going to make it a box, right? And so this looks very similar to some of the stuff we've been doing in class. And so the first question we have, and we're going to see if we can visualize this pattern, is um, 367 times 10. So if we have 367 times 10, um, we want to look at it as um, how does that work? And so I'm not going to label it. I'm just going to know where this goes. So here's the decimal. My decimal should be uh, right after the 7. So I'm going to put my 7 here, put my 6 here, 6 tens, and 3 hundredths. Now, um, what we're doing when we're multiplying by 10, if you remember, we make the number bigger. And so in this case, it's going to move the numbers to the left, okay? I was hoping you're thinking about that, right? So we're going to move them to the left. And so what this means is this 367 really becomes 3,670 when we multiply by 10, okay? So that would be the correct answer when we do this. Now, why am I showing you this? You might have been able to do this in your head. That's great. But what we need to start to see and to visualize is that there's a pattern going on. And that pattern has something to do with this here. And if we compare these two numbers and what we get here, we're going to start to see a pattern. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what that pattern uh, really is. Okay, so um, let me get rid of that. And what happens, let's look at division. What happens when we divide by 10? Right, so we have the exact same number, right? We're gonna use the exact same number, except um, something else is going to happen because with division, what happens is we go backwards, or the numbers go backwards and the decimal goes the other way. Remember, this is the exact same number, and you can pause at any time to, to go back and see as well. But when we divide, we actually force the numbers to go the other way, right? Division the other way. And notice we only go one time because each one is going back 10, right? And since we're dividing by 10, each one goes back 10. Now the decimal is just a separator, but really this is still one box in case you didn't uh, recognize that. Now, so what this becomes is three, six, seven, and then we have to remember the decimal. So our new answer is 36.7. All right, so we have two uh, very different um, problems, but the one thing that you want to notice is the movement of the decimal, okay, and we'll pretend that it was right here to begin with, and you want to look at what this is causing this number to do, right, and then when we get this is our answer, okay, 36.7, or 36 and 7 tenths, that's how we would read that. All right, so now let's take a look at one more, and we're going to do um, a decimal, and we're going to multiply it by 10. And the goal here is to eventually be able to do um, the math in your head to visualize the pattern without using the box. Now I'm going to leave the box up there, um, and I will show you with the box, but uh, eventually I want you to learn without the box. So in this case, we would um, put, uh, we have 110, six ones, and one tenth, right, representative of that. And now what's going to happen is we're multiplying by 10. And if you go back to the previous problem where we multiplied by 10, um, it would go over each one time, right? So what happens if we'd multiply by 100, right? It would actually move, it would actually move two times so this would come all the way over here this six would come here and this one would come here and we'd have to add a zero if we we're multiplying by 100 
but in this case, we're multiplying by um, 10, and so our new answer becomes um, 161. Okay, so that would be what our answer is. And notice again what happens to the decimal. That is super important. So this and this combine to create this. And what is the pattern? That is the biggest thing that we can come out of, um, that we can pull out of this situation is what's the pattern? What visualize or what visuals are you seeing with these patterns? So when we do this um, on the homework, uh, we want to be able to visualize those patterns because when we multiply by 10, by 100, um, and by 1,000, there is a pattern that's going on, and it's really going to help us tomorrow when we talk about exponents. And the same thing goes with division, dividing by 10, dividing by 100, and dividing by 1,000. There is a pattern that's happening when we do that to numbers, and I'm hoping that you're able to uh, see that. So we're going to try and connect those dots tomorrow. Um, but uh, uh, good luck in trying to discover that puzzle.